Well, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Remember that we can start every day all over and over again and to have a fresh start. Welcome to my channel, I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful blouse. You won't believe how easy it is. I decided to make it in this color and one of you shared this idea with me and I didn't doubt it to make it. It is so easy, I made it with a different stitch but the idea is the same. Remember that I always look to make it as easy and simple as I can. So I will give you all my secrets and I totally, totally love the result. I was thinking that also you can make the neck in other in a different color and the rest in a different color too. So you can combine and you can use the colors that you want. So here during the video I will show you how you can make it more shorter, if you can make it longer as a dress, if you want to make it opened as a vest or a sweater, like you want with longer sleeves and everything. So please stay tuned till the end and I will give you the material list. Let's start. Well, for this blouse we are going to need 300 grams of this material that is between light and medium weight yarn. This material is cotton, I will make it in this color and I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. I will make this blouse in a small size but during the video I will show you how you can make it in a larger size. If you want to make it larger you will need more material so please take that into account. Well so with one thread and with your hook we are going to start making a long strip of chains. First we are going to make 120 chains. Look here, I poured myself what I was cooking. So now, please be careful because everything happened is just a second. So I'm still taking care of that, okay? Well, we are going to make 120 chains. We will start by the neck with one thread and with our hook. Well, at the end of the chains, we are going to slip one too close. Please check that you didn't twist or so. Once you are sure, we are going to close. But if you want to make a best or so, you will skip this space and you won't close. You will continue in half, half moon, okay? So we will go up with three chains. Then one chain and next to it a double crochet out of three crochet. Again, one chain and next to it a double crochet out of three crochet so here we have four double crochet with one chain between and one next to the other so this is the first segment then turn around we will go up with three chains and between these two double crochet we are going to make one double crochet then one chain and again inside one double crochet so here we will have a V and then at the end for the edge we are going to make one double crochet now turn around again we will go up with three chains and again inside one double crochet one chain and one double crochet so here we are going to make a V then one chain and then for the edge we are going to make one double crochet and like this we are going to continue until we have 10 rows, so far we have 3. And well, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So each column of this one will create the neck, okay? And this is the decoration of the neck, if you want to make it longer, well you can continue making more rows. At the end of this 10th, uh, rows we are going to cut and start next to it. So for each column we will need four chains, right? So according to the number of chains that we made at the beginning, we will have 30 columns like this one. So we are going to continue making more until we complete the circle of our neck, making each column with 10 rows using the same stitch. Remember each column will have 
four double crochet with one chain in between and one next to the other and we are going to make 10 rows we are going to make a review and I have just realized that I told you to make between double crochet one chain but no it's three chains then next to it a double crochet then here one chain next to it a double crochet and then next to it without making any chain a double crochet so we are going to make two double crochet one chain and then two double crochet then we will go up with three chains and right away in the middle we are going to make the V one double crochet one then chain. two chains and a double crochet well here at the end I have 15 strips in one side and 15 in the other side so in total we must have 30 okay so we are going to make all the columns the same with 10 chains sorry with 10 rows each and then here where we started in the first uh, column we are going to make three chains and we will go to the corner of the second column and slip one until the other corner of the second column then we are going to make three chains and then in the corner of the third column we are going to slip one and we are going to continue slipping one until the other column and then we will make three chains and like this we are going to continue joining all the columns you see with three chains between and we are going to slip between columns and well before we continue I wanted to point it out that please here check that all these columns are facing to the same side and that you didn't twist okay so please take that into account and before you continue please uh, check and extend them and place them all correct okay please don't twist and now let's continue well so far I'm loving the result it looks so great so now we are going to change the stitch remember to check that you didn't twist and that everything is correct we are going to make the Salomon's knot well the Salomon's knot is like this please turn over and pull then come back and make single crochet pull again insert your hook right here in the middle of this thread and make a single crochet we are going to insert the hook at the end of the first comb again pull take one come back make a single crochet pull and like taking both parts of the chain you see and single crochet and again we are going to repeat we are going to make one over the column one in the space and one over the column and like this all around try to pull the threads at the same distance well at the end of the row we are going to pull and we will first identify where is the first Solomon's knot so it's right here and right here in the top we will insert the hook so first we are going to make the half of the Solomon we are going to make a knot then we will insert the hook right here in the top we are going to slip one and right here too we will go up with three chains and in the same place we are going to make two double crochet out of three crochet so we will take one two and the last two and we are going to make one more so at the end we will have four then in the top of the next Salomon we are going to make one double crochet then two all of them in the same place you see three then four and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row in the next knot of the next Salomon we will repeat and make for double crochet well then at the end of the row we are going to make one Salomon's knot over each a uh, segment of four double crochet these two rows will be one series so like this we are going to repeat these two rows this series until we have five series more okay so well I will stop right here to show you 
So here we have the row with Solomon's knot. Then over each knot we made this segment of four double crochet and then over this segment we will make the Solomon. So you could see here we have one Solomon and then the next row over this knot we are going to make the row of double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue making more series. We will stop until we have five. So well, I want to stop here. I already finished these two series and I have realized that to me it's a little bit tight and I'm starting to have the spoon effect. So to avoid that, we will increase a little bit to open more the shape. So we are going to make first five Salomon knots over each segment of double crochet. So one Salomon knot here. So like this one we are going to make five and then in the six we will increase. And here we have two, three, four and five. So the number six will be in this joint. So here is where we are going to increase. So in the next row we are going to make one segment here, two, three, four, five, and over the six we are going to make one segment more too. Again we are going to make five, six. five Salomon's knot more and then we will increase one after these five. And like this we are going to continue the whole row. Remember that in the next row of this series we are going to make one over each Salomon. If you want to increase more, maybe instead of increasing after the five, you can increase each three, okay? But it's up to you. Okay, so only in this row we are going to increase and then the coming series we will keep the same stitches, okay? So see you after this five series and after that we will divide to make the armholes. Okay, so here we finished. Remember that to go up to the next row we are going to make just a half of the Solomon's knot and then right away we are going to continue with the next row of the series. In this case the row of double crochet. Here I finished the row where I increased. So I wanted to show you how we are going to make it. Remember that also in the Solomon's that we increase also we are going to make these segments of four double crochet so i will show you quickly how we are going to make it I, I want to be super clear and to explain exactly how it is so you can remember and we can review how it is so here we are making the row of segments of four double crochet and we are making this row over the row where we increased remember so over each Solomon's knot we are going to make one segment like this one and here this is the Solomon where we increased you see so we are going to finish remember that like this we will have five series and remember that only we will have one row where we increased but if you feel that according to the size that you are making this blouse for you need to increase more while well, you can make a second row of Salomon's where you increased, okay? And we'll also take into account the long of the neck to divide the armhole. Well, guess what? At the end, my model try on and I just made four series, okay? Because counting the rows of the neck and these rows are enough to divide the armhole, okay? So that's why I stop right there. So please check. We are going to leave eight segments in the front and eight segments in the back. So in total we will have 16 for the sleeve and that right there I put a marker. Now I have the thread right here. We are going to continue making the same stitch and we are only going to crochet all around without counting the space of the sleeves. I suggest that here if you want to open more, you make some chains to open and to make this blouse for a larger size. And well, for now on, from here you will continue making more rows until you get the long that you want, okay? I suggest 
that before we continue, you try on and see if the space for the armholes is enough. If not, as I told you, you can make some chains here between to open more. This is up to you. I always uh, suggest that you try on. Also, if you need to increase more segments, well, I already taught you how you can increase, right? So you can make one row more and increase more segments, but this is also up to you. In my case, I don't want to open more because my model already try, try on and it's perfect, perfect for her. So I will continue with the same, same segments that I have and following the instructions and making more series. So look, this is where I continue, remember that here we divide the armhole, made 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 series more, and at the end I made this stitch, there are only chains with picot at the end. This is what I made, and this is basically it. So you will decide how many rows you want. I am going to be very honest and I stop right there because I didn't have enough material to continue. But if you want, you can continue. Now here in the slips, we are going to make as many rows as we want for our slips. Here I will be very honest. I realized that I have this part of the neck facing to the wrong size. So I realize until the end literally i have just finished the blouse and i have realized of this so please be careful here i won't like fix it i will just leave it like this because i have more things to crochet because remember that everything that i crochet i um, do the videos so that's why i don't want to do it because i have a lot of videos that i want to share but please take that into account and be careful at the end here, all around I made a crowded stitch row and I close it. If you need to skip some spaces to close more your neck, you can. I suggest that also you don't iron this stitch, you just iron the neck. And now I will show you how we are going to make the sleeves. Well, at the end here for the sleeve, we are going to make one row more of Salomon's knot. And then I will show you how I decorate it, okay? As I told you, you can continue making more series until you get the long of the sleeves that you want. In this case, I want the sleeves shorter. And also remember that I told you that I don't have enough material to continue. So I will just leave it like this. I will finish to make this row of Solomon's knot. And then I will show you how I made the chains and the picot. And the same decoration that I use here for the sleeves, I use it for the bottom too and all around. I know that in some countries, these stitch have different names. In Spanish, it's known as espuma de mar. So please let me know here in the comments how you know this stitch. Well, here I finished the row with Solomon's knot, I just made the half of it and then now that I'm here I will go up with four chains and I will come back to the second chain and I'm going to slip one to close and here we have the picot. Then two chains and we are going to insert the hook right in the top of the next knot. Again, we are going to make four chains on four then we are going to come back to the second one insert the hook and single crochet then two chains and in the top of the next knot right there we are going to insert the hook and this is basically what i made also in the bottom and in the other slip too here at the end we are going to iron just the neck this stitch we are going to leave it like this because i think that it's perfect doesn't need to iron it because if not it will lose it, it puffiness okay so we are just going to iron the neck very soft and gently and now let's see how it looks i hope that you all enjoy making this blouse with me as you could see 
We used a simple but beautiful stitch and it was so easy. Well, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I will look the picture of the model that wore this beautiful blouse. She looks amazing. It was for a magazine that I made and I'm so proud of it. I love the result and I hope that you will make it following the steps that I share here in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to leave me a comment and to share this video if you like it. See you soon. Take care.